Suzuki, the new director who is working on the expansion for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, revealed that they are working on some of the in-game settings, which is great. If you are watching this video right now, the goal of this video is for all of us to share our thoughts on what the Monster Hunter dev team can do to fix or improve the in-game settings or mechanics before Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Though, don't get your hopes up, I'm just a small creator and I highly doubt that they'd watch this video, but it's worth a try, so throughout the video, share your ideas in the comment section. Okay, let's begin. Let's first start off with the control settings that they've revealed for Wyvern Riding. From what it looks like, it seems like they've added an option where you can change which button to trigger Wyvern Riding. I'm kinda glad they added this setting because currently it just feels like they're forcing you to ride the monster and it can be a bit annoying and unnatural during hunts. With this change, I'm not quite sure how this would turn out in game, like what would happen to the monster? How long is it going to stay still? It's almost like it's going to end up like in this clagger state similar to Once Hunter World Iceborne. I'm thinking what would happen is the duration would like shorten or after the monster takes enough damage, it would just snap out of the wire bugs. But we'll see how it goes. the infamous fireworks display during hunts. I can't be the only one who finds this a bit distracting while doing multiplayer hunts. Sometimes you just can't see the monster anymore. I'm thinking they could add some sort of settings similar to Minecraft where you can reduce the particle or critical flash effects. The PC modders have done something like this, but the problem is they completely remove everything so you don't see the critical effects anymore or some effects. We don't have to completely eradicate the effects, we just need it to tone down. Let me know what you guys think. Besides the flashy critical effects, I was wondering if we could have a settings where we could just resize the HUD, especially for the PC players. I know it's old school Monster Hunter style, I get that, I've lived with that, it's just that it would be nice to get more screen real estate without having to remove the health, stamina, weapon sharpness bar, etc. Before we move on to the next one, I have this small fix or issue. I could be the only one here but I just want to confirm in the community. I wish there was a way where I can hide the map but quickly view it while selecting items. MHGU or Monster Hunter Double Cross has done this but yeah, sadly it's not a thing anymore in Monster Hunter World Iceborne and probably moving forward but this is a bit of a nitpick already, but I do wish we still had this kind of settings. I would love to see it come back in Sunbreak. This wasn't a thing back in old gen monster hunter but as soon as i saw this god i love this setting i get to sort out my items from might seeds to healing now that's a boomer hunter's dream some other hunters would just tell me to use the radial menu so it's unlikely they do this edit someone told me that you can do this but it's tedious so yeah i just wish they add this back in sunbreak I'm quite sure there was a tweet where they mentioned about improving the wall climbing experience in Sunbreak because as you saw from the video, my hunter just ends up getting stuck. Also, I wish there was a way to wall climb without using the wire bugs because apparently you can do that but you have to ditch out all of your wire bugs. <laughs> Hopefully most of the wall related running issues gets fixed as well considering how wall combat might be a thing in Sunbreak as we saw Malzeno running up the wall. Yeah, that would be great. Huh? 
this may or may not be an issue, I've thought of mentioning it anyway so you guys could share your thoughts about it. To me, it sort of breaks the immersion of the hunt when a monster enters the same area and suddenly the monster you're attacking starts focusing on the other monster instead of you. While at it, the monster it's attacking, you can suddenly get a guaranteed mount on it. It just doesn't sit right with me. If they are simulating a natural turf war, it should be the monster that enters the zone that initiates the attack and disregard that guaranteed mount. If you guys have thought of a better idea for this, share them in the comment section. Okay, if you guys didn't notice what just happened, I didn't also notice this until I've watched the video of Heavy Wings. I'll leave it in the description for you guys to watch. The short explanation for this, it's a subtle mechanic. When a monster leaves the zone, you'll hear this thing called the chase theme. Instead of getting no background music, which then kills the immersion or the intensity of the hunting experience. With the upcoming Monster Hunter Rise expansion, I do hope they add, fix, or improve some of these. I'm sure there's a lot more to mention and I do recommend sharing them in the comment section and try to share this video with your fellow hunters. That's about it for me, let's have an open discussion and I'll see you on the next video.